President Obama reached for a new beginning with Latin Americans, some of whom aired grievances against the U.S. older than its new president, wanting to test him. Good morning, everybody. As cameras captured the start of a meeting, Venezuela's president, Hugo Chavez, surprised Mr. Obama with a book, The Open Veins of Latin America, an angry accusation of U.S. exploitation. President Obama later joked about it. You know, I thought it was uh, one of Chavez's books. I was going to give him one of mine. White House officials downplayed Chavez's gift as a stunt for the cameras. Our relationship with Venezuela has been strained. It remains strained. The fact that there's been a smile and a handshake uh, it doesn't really indicate more than our willingness, uh, as we've said in the past, to dialogue with them. And the president's top advisor on the summit says that many leaders are seeing eye to eye with President Obama's push for a fresh start to the U.S. relationship with Latin America. And what I think he's finding is, is that for uh, almost all of the uh, heads of state here, they are forward-leaning, they are forward-looking. President Obama says he's not here to talk about the past, but last night he sat through it. A 52-minute speech by Nicaragua's President Daniel Ortega. In nombre de los Estados Unidos. Blaming the U.S. for almost everything wrong in the world. The White House declined to respond in kind. Actions are always going to speak louder than words, regardless of how long those speeches are. The other big issue overshadowing the economic agenda here is Cuba, not invited because it's not a democracy. The president was applauded for lifting the ban on family travel, but in today's meeting, the other leaders pressed him to also lift the U.S. embargo. The White House says that's not happening anytime soon. They're looking for more concrete action from Cuba. Jeff? Bill, some of this criticism of the U.S. went on for a while. Some might be wondering why the president didn't just get up and leave. Well, you know, we talked to some former aides of President Bush, and they said that President Bush never would have stayed in the room. But that just underlines the difference in President Obama's approach. He's making a very clear statement that he wants to change the way the U.S. does business here. Bill Plants in Trinidad. Bill, thank you.